What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Eric Pikeman, The Sane Lifestyle, and today I'm bringing to you a video on my new workout split. Yes, I know what you're about to say when you get farther into the video. I'm insane. And even though it's not too bright outside, I'm wearing these sunglasses because they're prescription and I have some of the worst distance vision you're ever going to see. This is the one thing I like about getting up earlier. Denver traffic is literally maybe a tenth as bad. That's why I'm coming up to right now would be backed up for like 20 minutes at like half hour from now. Hey, you probably see one of these I see one of these guns going around the internet quite a bit. Massage gun. I use this now before every time that I work out. Honestly, it's awesome. So today, got squats, so hit my legs pretty good and also, places you don't think you're going to be tight, you actually are. That's what I learned very fast. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to try and hit five reps on 295 today. Hopefully it's... So guys, ready for this? Got 295 on the squat. Hopefully I get it for five. Now, before I'm out of breath from squats, let me tell you what my new workout split is. And feel free to call me a crazy motherfucker if you want. It's a Five day full body split. cardio workout and now the number one reason why I'm switching to full body before I get to this yes when I tried full body five days a week I feel horrifically as the first time but how else do we learn not through our failures well I mean the people way smarter than us which I'm gonna be honest there's a lot of people way smarter than me but we learn through our failures and so the number one reason I am doing five five day full body split is frequency now you do the traditional bro split you're going to be working a muscle group once a week. So even if you match the amount of sets you need to grow, let's say like 20 to 30 sets, you're still only going to hit that muscle group once. And muscles, no matter if you, even if you demolish them with like 100 sets that day, I don't know who the hell can do that, unless you're loaded on steroids, your muscles are still 72 hours afterwards when you ready to work. And then for me, the experience I found the bro split is some days I just can't get into the gym because I'm so busy with clients, growing my business, and editing videos. And soon eventually I'm like, oh shit, I've skipped leg day like four times. Whereas with a five day full body split, I'm gonna be hitting every single muscle group at least once a day for five days. So that way if I have to skip a day at the gym, I'm like, okay, I've hit legs before. It's okay if I skip one work. And you tend to not worry too much because you've already worked out that muscle group. And plus, before I leave, frequency is another big key when it comes to building muscle. Now guys, the second reason I decided to switch to a five day full body split is because of intensity. Now tell me this, when you're doing leg day, I know what bro science may say, but this is not what actual science says. So in leg day, after you're done with squats, then remaining deadlifts or lunges or whatever you do, how much energy do you have like the third, fourth, fifth, or even sixth exercise? Not very much. And that was kind of the drawback I found with like push-pull legs or even bro splits is that once I got to like the third or fourth exercise, no matter how much pre-workout I took, which I can't take over one scoop anyways, I could not have the energy to make any of those sets effective. And eventually I went, why am I doing these sets? It's wasted time in the gym and it's wasted volume. And the same thing goes with like, like I said, bro splits. So then my thought is, why not do one exercise per body part every single day that I'm perfectly fresh for that exercise, I can make each set count. 
You see, if you're going to do five exercises with four sets each, and the last three are garbage, that's just wasted time in the gym. Time you don't have the ways to get your gains. Now, I know a lot of bro science people will disagree with me on this, but this is what actual science says, and what it has said in my own training experience too, is that once I hit about the third leg day, chest day, shoulder day, whatever day exercise, I am completely dead. I have nothing more to offer. And it's just wasted sets and wasted volume. Now guys, I found one of the few dry places on the sidewalk to film this last part, because yesterday, Denver got hit by another bomb cyclone. So I couldn't do any of my coaching calls because my Wi-Fi was down. But my last point, my third point, and I expect this one to be a little bit controversial, is volume. Now there's a lot of schools about volume. There's some people who preach that you don't need that much volume. Some people preach you need a ton of volume. But I've been doing a lot of research and I feel like the 15 to 20 sets a week is going to be plenty of volume for most people. Because most people don't have their lives to get dedicated to the gym or to eating as much as they need to or to sleeping as much as they need to. So 15 to 20 is a good rep range or a good set range to stay in. And you see, if you are doing four sets of an exercise, five days a week, you're going to hit that 20 sets easily. And for me, if you're trying to grow a part of your body, like if you're trying to grow your side, side shoulder, your wider shoulders, you can do two extra sets of just side lateral raises. Or if you're trying to build up your chest, you're gonna do two more sets of dumbbell bench. Or like me, if you're trying to build up the legs, especially the gluteal buteos right here, then you're going to do two more sets a day of an exercise targeting that. And over time, that's going to be 10 extra sets. So that's still going to be plenty. Even if I switch to one set, like a burnout set, it's still going to be plenty in order to grow. So that's another reason why I am switching to the five day full body split. Now, as I say, I don't expect everyone to agree with my decision or all my points. This is just what I've been researching and what I want to give a try because you never know something until you try it. Now, a few considerations before we get too much into this is that I do not recommend this for everyone. I do not recommend this for beginners, first of all. For beginners, if you just get into the gym three times a week and do a full body routine and do like three sets of each body part, you are still going to be growing. And people, so yeah, that's the first one to take into consideration. Don't do this if you are a beginner. Also, another thing to take into consideration is letting your body heal. Obviously, you're going to be placing a little bit of different wear and tear on your body when you're working full body every single day. So, I'll definitely manage your recovery too. And also, I've noticed that some of the workouts do take me a little bit longer to accomplish. So, I would definitely say, like, watch the time part too. That's another consideration to take into mind. Other than that, like, if you are someone like me who sometimes struggles to get into the gym every single day or like six days a week, and you're going, hey, like, What's well, a good workout split to do? The five day full body split, if you do this right, it's a good viable option for you. So that's another consideration I would take into mind too. Not a warning, but think about it too. Now guys, if you do want to see my full workouts, all you have to do is go and follow my Instagram. And if you have any questions for me related to again a masculine mindset or physique, seriously, Go join my Facebook group, Sane Warriors. It's linked in the description down below. There, you can ask to join and I will let you join. And then ask me whatever questions you have and I'll get to them in a timely manner as soon as I can. And also, if you want a place to see all my content, definitely check out my Facebook page too. Now, if you have not already and you like these kind of videos, hit me with that thumbs up. And if you have any topic you want me to cover in the future that's related to a masculine mindset or physique, let me know in the comments section down below. And also, to my future and current badass saints out there, let's keep kicking ass. And I'll see you all later.